Well guys, we just had our first trip from Sydney all the way up to Port Stephens in the very first Ray Glass 3000 in Australia. What did you think? Uh, pretty much overwhelmed by um, obviously the purchase and the, and the upgrade of, the, of, of a trailer boat to something this size. But um, she handled herself well. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed and quite glad we, we made the choice, really. Cruising at roughly 25 knots the whole way and um, handled it beautifully, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, 1.8 metre swell, just chewed it up, and comfortable as the whole way. Yeah. Yeah, no discomfort, real good. No, so Jason, obviously you're the, the first person in Australia to purchase a, a new Rayglass 3000. This is a new release from us. We met you at the Sydney Boat Show earlier this year and it was pretty much love at first sight, wasn't it? Pretty much, <laughs> mate, yeah. Yeah, sent a lot of photos and everything online, but once we seen it, yeah. Um, yeah, our minds were made up as soon as we felt it, touched it and jumped on board, that it had to be the boat. And what kind of boating are you guys looking to do here in Port Stephens and how do you think it's going to really complement what, what, what you guys are trying to achieve? Look, overall, we spend a fair bit of time in Port Stephens, but the, the fishing here is you know, superb, next to none uh, across the rest of the country. Um, the leisure side of it with the families um, is good. The fishing most, most importantly for us, and I think we just got an all around good boat that can do everything very well. Now with Alexander driving the boating as well, um, there was a big difference in confidence, just me seeing him being able to drive it. So I'm, I'm a lot more at ease knowing that he can handle himself because the boat allows us to. I mean, you just have a good day on the water. The comfort's unbelievable. Just, yeah, keeping the water off the windscreen, I mean, yeah, it just stays off the windscreen too. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. We travelled we traveled for hours and we didn't even get a drop of water on there, so it was pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with that. I think all in all, that was a pretty successful morning then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. I mean, even, even the fact that you just you can launch and just get out there. Yeah. Like it's just, there's no, there's no hesitation. Where before I would, we'd, we'd tend to go out, sit at the head, watch it. Now it's just like this morning, I just, let's just go. Yeah. Like we're, we're going. You're not thinking twice Yeah, not thinking it. twice about what you can and can't handle. You know the boat's going to handle it. If you've got confidence, your day is good. If you haven't got confidence and you're working, especially Mother Nature, it can, it can really turn a lot of things against oh, you. So totally. you do need to have the yeah. confidence in yourself and, and, and the gear that you have. And you know, the boat's probably a very important part of that. I think more now that we've got this, we've got, um, we've got the ability to venture more and learn more of the area. So yeah. there's certain areas that we know and we know well, like a run a front of the Tom Marie heads there. That's easy. Like we've we've done that you know, hundreds of times. We've got it down pat, going to Fingal. Yeah. But going going further out that way and going going north to where we went today, yeah. um, we've got to start learning the grounds yeah. and stuff like that. So, but no, it's it's definitely good. And as far as the game fishing side of it goes, that's just a bit further out on the continental shelf. Yeah. Go out, go out to the shelf follow it down, some of the best grounds in the country. Oh, I reckon if we do it at 25, 30 knots, it'll take me a, a good 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, the whole layout today in terms of how the boat worked from a game fishing standpoint. Yeah, it was just, just, was just easy today, yeah. wasn't it? Easy. Managed to get a few Bonito on board yeah. as well. <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of sushi for the, a bit of sashimi for the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, how are we going to protect the seat from getting blood and guts all over it? So we'll make a cover because yeah. we didn't want to reckon, <laughs> ruin the nice, beautiful workmanship. So we made that and thought, you know what, we'll put our lures on top of it because we're not going to sit because we're fishing. <laughs> so it's just a slip on cover. Yeah. Take it off, pack it away and you're done. Do you want to take it? What are we up to? Four yeah. knots? Let's go to... 4.8. Yeah, let's go to that sort of seven. Um, just follow follow it all, all the way around. Now we're going to go around the island, then we'll turn and come back around. So tell us a bit more about your sim red package. Obviously, we've, we've got the 19-inch screen there, but you've, you've also optioned, opted for a couple of additional transducers as well. So we went we optioned with the uh, three-in-one transducer for the active imaging component as well. Um, solely just the, you know, the shallower grounds inside Port Stephen, just so we can start to learn what's underneath and, and how we can read the, um, the seabed and stuff like that. Um, the one kilowatts obviously for our offshore stuff, just to get out there and just get that more power in the, in the deeper waters. Um, the structure scan and the 3D scanning thing is just going to be you know, one of those learning curves and that growth period. 
um, as we as we get more used to it. But um, like we would have seen today, especially around Broaden Island, the structures come right out of that water real quick. So it helps you understand the um, what's happening underneath. You get to appreciate you know, how it all works as well. And I think it just gives you the better idea of you know how to plan your day and, yeah. and how to stay safe too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The Simrad Dash is just so integrated. You just touch and feel and swap your screens over. Um, you want to cruise, just set up your cruise screen. You want to go fishing and it's inside, have another screen. You want to go out for the game fish, it's so easy to yeah. use and just it's there at your fingertips, which is great. Yeah, and I think, you know, there's so many other functions that we went through today, like, you know, being able to control the stereo. Then we had the vessel control where um, we were putting it in cruise control. And yeah, then... yeah. But yeah, just take it to that sort of seven, seven knots. Hug the coast a bit. There's a nice big sea eagle. You see him? Yeah. Yeah, you can just set it up as an autopilot now and set your speed. And yeah. And that's sit, it, just go sit straight. Back here and yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, yeah. enjoy a couple of days. Well, Jason, mate, obviously you've spec this boat with the highest horsepower yeah. uh, option possible <laughs> well, with the twin Mercury 300 horsepower V8s. What are your initial thoughts on the, on the full system with the joystick integration and active trim? And look, the the, the power is ah, oh, you just yeah, you you got to experience it to really understand what you're getting. Yeah. Um, you can put a price tag on something, and then they'll say, oh yeah, this that the other. But once you use it, the price tag means nothing. <laughs> yeah, it, it just it gets you there, it gets you back, it handles well. The trimming system just doing its magic in the background. We are thinking about something a little bit smaller, but the 300 just, yeah, it just had to be. The joystick, the autopilot, the whole system integration is, yeah. So it makes it so much easier. So you, just, you just touch it, you turn it, you move it. It's just so reactive, so responsive um, in that aspect. Power wise, you can get out to your fishing grounds in no time. The stability, the full control of the system is great. The yeah. joysticks, skyhook, the whole lot. So if this this really lets you enjoy your day on the water. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the power is just yeah, just you want to get there, you get in there. Yeah. Yeah. It automatically trims, balances the boat. It, there's yeah, you really can't fault yeah. it. Hitting a bust up, bang. Yeah. Hit the hit the hit the skyhook. Just do, work your bust up. It goes bang. You're back on your way. It's no anchors. It's so much easier. Yeah. You, know, you can get fish on the boat so much quicker. It's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. And I think you know just being able to boat with so much confidence. You know, with yeah. that full system in yeah. place and all your navigational gear on board. Plus, you know, such a great riding hull as well. It's just yeah. it ticks all the boxes really, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. It's good that you can park back up, set a table up and chill. Yeah, that's right. You know, yeah. we're up at five o'clock this morning, out for a fish, fishing for, what, four or five hours? Yeah. Come back in, now we're sitting in a, a beautiful bay, crystal clear yeah. water. Yeah. Just um, Sitting around it. the table, we have some sashimi. Yeah, makes it more enjoyable. You don't just have to come back and put it back on the trailer. You know what I mean? And just worry about, oh, I've got to wash this. Got to... You can actually enjoy the rest of the day, then do all that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so. you're so spoiled for choice here as well, especially yeah. in, the, in the sheltered port here, yeah. you know, you really get out and that big swell and everything, so. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of guys that can fish in every condition out here. Yeah. Um, they'll come out with their little boats and that and then just tuck away somewhere. There's always a corner in Port Stephens you can tuck away in yeah. and still continue a day of fishing. So you do get to enjoy it with a lot of other boaters, which is good. Yeah. Um, everyone's yeah. pretty, uh, Pretty happy to see each other on the water and everyone yeah. helps each other out, which is very good. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously we've, we've had the four hour mission up from Sydney yesterday up the coast, and when yeah. we headed out this morning through the heads, we had some pretty confused seas after the winds got up last night. Yeah. What are your gen what's your general feedback and, and thoughts on the on the uh, ride and feel of the boat? So to be honest, it's, it's been pretty good. I mean, Alexander was driving there for a couple of couple of hours out of that yesterday, and I seen him with a lot of confidence in the way that the boat allowed him to be confident in, in what he was doing. Um, so yeah, when, when you're out boating, if you see that everyone on board's got the confidence and you see a young fellow who can handle a boat in 1.8 metre swells, doing 25, 30 knots and cruising your way up. I mean, yeah, the, the, that, those, those um, numbers speak for itself and that's, that's only because the boat allowed it. The, the motors were you know, trimmed up well. Uh, they were delivering the power that we needed to just to keep powering through. And the boat just kept cutting that water so easily, keeping all the water away from the windscreen, um, away from the, you know, the, the whole boat really. 
just giving us that clear vision through. But um, yeah, the, the boat travels well, 30 knots, 1.8, two meter swells, just, yeah, you're comfortable in it, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, in a lot of other boats, you could be thrown around and you'd be holding on with two hands yeah. and you'd be stiff as trying to, trying to yeah. yeah. And 1.8 1. 1. metre swirls, one hand on the steering wheel and you're just relaxing. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's, it's a well-designed boat and could powered well. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. Well, mate, thanks once again and um, look forward to hearing about all, all your adventures here in Port Stephens and hopefully seeing some pictures on board with a marlin and, or yeah, two or um, family, family cruising out at the islands as well. But yeah, for um, sure. happy days ahead, eh? It's taken a long time, but I think we fi finally found the right one. Yep. And driving up here today, I, I, yeah, I, I would have regretted buying anything else. <laughs>